our children. I'd like to also point out Shauna. She's a councilwoman for us. She came along with us. It was kind of frustrating when we I learned about this and wanted and I kept dreaming and thinking about we need to go up there, we need to be there and help support. My heart has always been with my land. I come from the western end of the Grand Canyon. I've roamed that canyon from the top to the bottom, hiking, boating, just everything. And that water, the Colorado River, we call it high death. The middle of the Red Earth River. Anyways, the backbone, we, ca we call the middle of the river the ba our backbone. That's our water. That's our life support. And to know that the water up here is going to be polluted and used, unable to be used for your young that's coming up in your generation. It, I felt that. I am a grandmother of five. I always think of them and what we're leaving, going to leave behind for them. My grandmother used to call me Min Min. I say, Grandma, why do you call me that? Min Min in our language is a hummingbird. She said, because you're like a hummingbird. You're quiet, but you sure can move around real fast. <laughs> I told my brother here, Ivan, I had a dream. And this Min Min came to me in that dream with its really soft, sweet little voice. And it said, you have to find a way. You have to find a way to get your, some people up there to help, help support. Because you know you have that feeling. And we did. We finally secured a van and we were all prepared to finance it ourselves. And we were offered help from the tribe and we were like, yay, thank you. And then we found out there was another van that we somewhat secured. And here's what people went, which made me even more happier. But we came up in support of what you guys are doing and then believe in because even us we have our own environmental issues with the Grand Canyon and the Colorado River and I'd like to ask my brother to sing an honor song for all our elders and all the young kids that are here for today with us Hey, Mahamo 